Oh, wait, that's a great pattern of that one. Yeah, this is like straight on top. Wow, that looks Looks like a magna flow. So earlier this year, uh, Caleb did a Pinewood Derby car with the Cub Scouts. And to decorate it, we decided to burn it with our microwave. So we put 3,000 volts of electricity through it uh, and created these really cool fractal patterns uh, all over the car. Uh, we want to do the same thing today with a bigger piece of wood. So we traveled out to uh, Steel and Grain today. Steel and Grain's owned by uh, Kevin Scheimreif. Um, Kevin, you might remember, uh, helped us out in some of our house and built, well, actually built a lot of our house and uh, worked with us a ton out there. Um, Kevin owns uh, Steel and Grain. Steel and Grain does custom furniture. Uh, by the corner of Forest Hill Road um, and 45, I got like two phone calls about this one, the arborist didn't want to haul it away. The people who got, or that this tree came from, yeah, it's five feet across. They want um, some furniture out of it. Some giant cookies. Get better access. You guys like, uh, you like these knots more? Or do you like these? Yeah, I do pegs like six inches. Uh, yeah, this is down underneath uh, steel and grain. What'd you say, Joel? There's slime. This is where they kept the prisoners. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But it's got a stone ceiling. It's oh, wow. melt to stay cold yeah. is what It's actually doing. round. There's a robin nest up here. Coming down? Yeah. Found something to climb on. Kevin uh, finished the wood, uh, added pegs, and today we're going to go and hopefully apply 3,000 volts to that coat rack to get some really interesting, unique design into it. We brought two microwaves just hopefully in case one doesn't work. Of course, he doesn't need help. You got it all ready? It looks awesome. We can pull these out if they're in the way, or we can use them or leave them. Go conduct electricity. Go conduct. <laughs> I don't know how you attach this stuff, but. We brought uh, jumper cables. Okay. Yeah, so. I don't think we've said it yet. Make sure you don't ever do this at home. Uh, the dangerous thing here, these, these put out about 3,000 volts of electricity, which is enough to kill you. And the dangerous thing is that most people assume that once you unplug the microwave, that it's safe. You can go ahead and touch it. It's not the case. Uh, the high voltage capacitors can hold all of that. Uh, for days, weeks, I think, even. And if you touch it in the wrong place, uh, you're done. Uh, high voltage transformer here. So this is gonna take your regular uh, current voltage from your house and create 3,000 volts of electricity. Put it into a capacitor here, um, and then dump that into a magnetron. And this is what uh, creates the uh, radioactive waves that actually heat up your food. We don't need that at all today, and we'd rather avoid anything uh, radioactive. So we're gonna, that's the first thing we're gonna do is just pull that, unplug that. Um, and then we also don't need the uh, capacitor. Get rid of this, because this is also the thing that kills people, uh, and pull, plug this straight into our wood. Now we're hooking the jumper cables up to the metal rods in the coat rack. So the wood by itself, uh, I don't think is conductive enough to, for the electric to go through it. So we're adding a little bit of salt water to kind of help it out. Okay, here we go. We're plugging those. <laughs> 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 oh, guy like some awesome. 2018. So we have the jumper cables hooked up to 3,000 volts through here. We don't know uh, how well this will conduct. We're going to try to go really pretty far distance. Let's see what happens. We 
we have the tiniest. They did dry up all the stuff. Little line. Okay. Okay. You never know uh, what you're going to get when you mix uh, steel, grain, and electricity. But uh, I think it uh, turned out really awesome. And uh, Kevin's going to finish it up. And uh, at that point, it'll even be better, I think. Yeah, I'll sand it up and then put some finish on it and try and clean it up but not, not lose any character. So as always, find an adventure every day. Uh, not this one at home, <laughs> unless you uh, know what you're doing. Uh, but summer flies. Stealing grain. Uh -huh.